This is super concerning. County, that's where our active tornado warning is. We're starting to see some of these being shipped a little further east, so that now Beaumont into Port Arthur. But here's the center of the storm. It's right here across sections of uh, southern Fort Bend County, or right around Needle and Thompson. So this is whatever's left of the eye is right here. Oh, I hope y'all can see this. But you can see um, my neighbor's fence right here at the bottom. Is it like tipped over? Um, this is a reserve that I have never seen like this. Now, many times it has rain. This is super concerning because according to the weather forecast, it's not supposed to stop raining for another, like, I don't know, about four or five hours. And then we still have rain for a couple more days. Y'all can't see, but it's a car driving by. Like, why y'all driving? But this is mad crazy. And my silly self did not put up everything, did not put up the patio furniture last night. So stuff is just everywhere. It's probably missing or whatever the case may be. But y'all, this is not the best part, but this is what we're dealing with right now. And my house is rocking, no power. So yeah, this is mad crazy. Y'all say a prayer for us. Man, well, let's hope that the table it's not completely broke. Hi, good people. Um, man, I am picking y'all up. It is Friday. I have not picked y'all up all week. I could have did a better job of of recording, but. Y'all, it has so much has happened this week. It's crazy. Um, first of all, we started a week off. Um, what was it? Monday, Sunday. The storm. Um, wh wh whatever this storm name is called, Barrel, Barry, Bertha, whatever it is. So the storm came in Houston Sunday night. Most people say Monday, but from my experience, how my windows were shattering, baby, that storm came Sunday night. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm talking y'all as I like try to get myself together because I'm about to go, uh, I'm about to go to the hospital. All right, so let me fill y'all in. Okay, so one, like I said, the storm came on sunday if you guys have been rocking with me for a little bit you know uh, previously a couple vlogs ago i threw my sister a baby shower and yes the time has come sissy went to the hospital on sunday um baby came yay 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 but now i'm on my way to the hospital because unfortunately they are still there i um, actually plan to stay, stay a night. Um, so yeah, so I'm on my way over there. Y'all see me right now. I am unrolling my hair. I washed it and blow dried it out and I was trying to keep it stretched. So I was using these little rods. Y'all, these are like the old school rods or whatnot. So since I've been natural, I've been using these. I have different sizes. I'm trying to see 
did it help stretch my hair out? And then if so, did it give it like a little bit of body, yaddy, yaddy? I don't know, right now I look a little mushroomish, like the Mario Brothers. <laughs> um, so, I don't know how I'm supposed to be doing it. Is it this, that? I don't even know if I rolled it the right way. I don't, I rolled it down. I don't know if I was supposed to roll it up, but I'm gonna try it out either way, um, both ways. Oh, we do have some body yaddy yaddy. Body yaddy 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 Okay, yeah. So, anywho, if you are in Houston or the Houston surrounding areas, um, y'all know how it has been with the power and whatnot. I really hope that you have power back. I have some family members who still don't have power. I've actually went back to work and I talked to a couple people who live in the Houston. The Houston. I talked to a couple people who live in the Houston or surrounding areas. And yeah, they still waiting on power or not. So this is crazy. And I don't want to get down to like, you know, like no rabbit hole or make it negative. I'ma just say Houston and all parties involved that's related to the grid, the infrastructure, whatever it is, like we gotta come together and like get it together because every natural disaster, our power goes out and it's like looking at honey drip to find some type of relief or assistance. Like the storm hit on Monday, the storm left on Monday night. Yes, it was still flooding. Yes, there were still trees out. But from Monday to Friday, and there's a lot of people still don't have lights. Come on, bro. Come on. Like, at some point, we got to stop saying that. We got to stop making excuses because of money. Because without a customer, which you were depriving at this point, without a customer, you know, you don't have business. And they may not look at it that way because they're such a big business or whatever, but... It's a little disheartening that after all these natural disasters and for this one to be, you know, in particular for 2024, that, you know, we, that is a lot of people who still don't have lights. Like it's, it's, it's crazy. Anyway, y'all, I, I don't actually know what I did to my hair. Now this kind of remind me of, um, Shirley, is it her name? Shirley Temple? I think that's her name. I don't know. Either way, it does give me some body. I try not to use a comb. Y'all something just like figure, detain, detangle, whatever you want to call this. I like use my fingers to separate some of the curls. So, yeah. And I don't even know why I'm doing this. I know I'm, all I'm about to do is go to the hospital and lay my head on the pillow. Mm, mm, mm. Sorry, y'all. I've I, I been like in and out of songs and trying to stay positive just because there's a lot of moving parts that took place this uh this week life is life in and especially in houston and surrounding areas with the storm or whatever it's crazy a to top it off this was so this is the b so y'all know the, the the hurricane categories go with the alphabet and we got 20 some odd whatever 26 whatever alphabets and we're number two because like i said the name was Beryl, Barry, Bertha, whoever it was. So we're a B. And unfortunately, there have I've read a lot of articles that um there are expecting for it to be more hurricanes predicted this year. I talked y'all ear off, but I was just giving y'all a quick update on that. And if you are in the Houston area, if you're in the surrounding Houston, keeping hurricane supplies on standby. And some of those hurricane supplies will be like um, a battery operated radio, um, charging banks for your phone, like a lot of charging banks for your phone, batteries, candles, lighters, uh, non-perishable foods, water, like just keep water on standby because like I said, they, they meteorologists, people who predict hurricanes and such basically said that there's a potential for it to be way more this year. 
Oh, y'all have two pimple patches on my face because unfortunately, y'all been, this ain't no excuse, but this is, this is the excuse I'm giving. I went to the store and got like storm snacks, which I should have not got. And, a part, and some of those storm snacks were stuff that I'm not supposed to be eating. And baby, my face said, don't worry about it. You want to act up, we going to act up too. So I got a pimple patch on, but I have one right in the dead of my middle face. And then I have another one right here. I tend to break out on this side anyway. And I don't know if that's hormonal. I don't know if it's the way that I sleep and like I touch my face and touch other stuff. I don't know. But, ooh, baby. And this one right here was hurting all week. So I'm trying to get my skin and stuff together. Drink water. <laughs> and try to mind my business. Anyway, um, all I did was just put more moisturizer on my face. So I put toner on my face. So let me back up. I washed my face when I was in the shower. When I got up, when I got out, I put toner on my face. Let that dry. And then I put my pimple patches on. I use uh, a serum and then I use moisturizer that you just you guys just saw me put on. If there's any other beauty, clean beauty products that you can recommend for your girl, let me know. Let me know. But anyway, yeah, y'all. Um, I don't know. I don't really like this. Okay, I'm gonna leave this alone because it was just a trial run anyway. So yeah, that's it. That's what's that's all that's going on in my world. Got the small talk, I like cash talk. Lady down is hitting, turn the flash off. I'm like Win Dixie, I get bags off. Baby got a pretty face, slim waist, ass off. I'ma get my own sack, bitch. I never had the bag. I ain't taking shit back, bitch. I said what I said. I was down bad, and they left your boy for dead. She said, girl, that fat nigga keep a loaf of bread. I still got powerhouses coming through on mopeds. I'ma still run it, check up like I got four legs. Give me any draw, I'ma get it off. I'ma stop on these fuck niggas every time they piss noise. Bitch, I'm tryna scope, I ain't got no time to punt. I'm filling up my slap boy with Obama rights. Just throw me the alley hoop, yeah. yeah just bitch, throw me the alley hoop, I fuck around and don't. Uh, got the small talk, I like cash talk. Lady diamonds hitting, turn the flash on. I'm like Win Dixie, I get bags off. Baby got a pretty face, slim waist, ass off. I'ma get my own sack, bitch. I never had the bag. I ain't taking shit back, bitch. I said what I said. I was down bad, and they left your boy for dead. She said, girl, that fat nigga keep a low bread. This real ice, I don't need a flash for this shit. For this cash, got a bad bitch, that'll do a trick. Design it down, I ain't take the tag off this shit. They ask me why, cause bitch, I paid a bag for this shit. I'm that type of nigga, get a rap check, go buy a break. I'm that type of nigga, get you a. Hey y'all, uh, today is Monday. Happy Monday. Hey, hey. Alright, um, y'all just jump on here really quick. Wait, let me try to warm up my clothes. I got, um, I got, I still have food from leftover from last week from the storm or whatnot. So I'm about to warm up lunch. I have some potato salad, which is pre-made. Mm, don't judge me. And then I got a rotisserie chicken from, uh, from HEB yesterday. So I'm about to just warm it up and put it in the microwave first. Oh, chicken already. Oh, sorry. It's just like chicken legs. So I'll take it. The flavor is uh, mesquite barbecue. So I really hope it's good. And then put me some potato salad. Put this in a microwave. I should put the potato salad in there right now because it's going to be cold. And I really should measure that. But y'all, I'm hungry. Hungry. So, yeah. Um, also, also, as I am working, I guess nobody uh, rings the doorbell no more when they deliver stuff. And I'm okay with that. But we got a couple packages that came in the mail. So, I'm about to open them up real quick and show y'all this first one right here. 
this gotta be my passport if y'all remember um oh y'all probably don't remember because i don't think i recorded it but when i went out of town to go to vegas i had my appointment for my um ooh, are y'all straight okay i had my appointment for global entry that already came back and i think i told y'all about that but then my passport expired so i sent that over like late june bam and of course i got it back already i did not do the expedited shipping or um yeah i didn't do the expedite shipping or anything extra to like speed it up or whatnot somebody comment down below and let me know if, if if the passport book has the same number of pages you can get stamps on so i didn't get anything special like i said i didn't do anything extra i just got your standard passport book this one you have 18 pages for stamps and if you use your passport before you know like no matter what country you go to they try to stamp your pages try to make all your stamps on the same or yeah like same or across pages or at least that's what it was for me i'll say that at least it was for me anyway one of the difference i do see on this passport this it's a top is a front page and it's plastic i again i didn't ask for anything extra so somebody please down below in the comment section let me know if my passport is different or something or this is a new way of the passports but this is plastic where all your information is at of course i'm not going to show it because it's, it's personal information on here and then right above that page it's like a copy of your picture so you have your picture and then like a black and white version. I don't know, but I'm good until 2020, 20, I'm good until 2034. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> that's the first thing I got. Y'all, I'm hungry. That's why I came downstairs. And I noticed it was some stuff at my door and that's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I some of this stuff I kind of have an idea what it is, but that passport I was looking for, I'm gonna be able to use that for my birthday. Oh. This is a PR thing. It's a PR. So this is an elf um grip primer. I've actually already used it. I used the pink one, not the green one before. So now I'm gonna like compare the two. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is another, this is another PR thing. So a company hit me up on TikTok for this. This is a, a shower head. It has a filter in here too. So I'm excited about that. Cause if you don't know, Houston just got, so last week we experienced another hurricane and the water systems don't be hitting. Like they might not say it, but the water ain't, ain't what it really is. So it's really good that it's a filter in that so I can test that all out. I eventually, I want to change everything out to have some sort of filter. You know, obviously I have filter for my refrigerator um, and I have a filter for my shower, but the sink and all that is like the standard one. I wanted to change that. So those two promo things. And oh, y'all. So and you saw on my last vlog, I had got uh some Gucci slide sandals. Like dupes. And I gave you my honest review of those. Well, one of my one of my internet friends posted um some new balances she got from dhk and i hope i'm not snitching on nobody but i asked her to send me the link and she did so i got some too i got some shoes the first thing i pull out this package they gave me some nike socks mm, i don't know why they gave me nike socks when i 
when I order New Balance or New Balance shoes. So interesting. Then they gave me some shoe, some shoestring laces. Okay, so here's the actual shoes. The moment of truth. What's it say? All claims null and void if tags removed. It came out like this. Well, that suck. So I don't know what the tag was for or whatever, but verify authentic. Wow. They definitely, they definitely look good. So these are some new balances. I believe these are the 9060. If I, if I, yep, 9060. I got it in a women's size 10. The, the inside sole says new balance. The logos um, in the right spot. You got one here, here. The tag, hope y'all can see that. The tag inside side and the back also at the bottom so okay <clears throat> i i don't really care about the box that it comes in i mean i love packaging like i like to open stuff and just see like the quality of what they put in for it the only bad part about this is that i don't own a pair of new balance so i don't know what's good and what's bad i don't know how these supposed to be look but they look huge i wear a size 10 in women's us women's or oh, whatnot um so i don't again like i don't know i'm gonna try to let me see if y'all can see it That was one, two, three, four packages. I got two more packages that came, but I cannot open this because these are birthday gifts for my sissy. Hey, sissy, if you're watching this, and um, I have decided I'm doing something really cute for my sister's birthday. If you don't know, um, me and my sister, one of well, one of my sisters um, that I majority talk about all the time is uh is my twin so i have a twin sister obviously if it's her birthday it'll be mine so um i am just preparing for for that and then y'all earlier today too i went to i went to target i didn't get anything glamorous anything extra that bag i can't show y'all because this is my stuff but um, when I went to Target, I just got stuff that I hate that I had to spend my money on, but actually needed pads. I got the Rayel overnight. I got two of those boxes. And then I got a regular Target right now for this week, this week of the 14th to Saturday, so that would be what? I don't know, 20th, y'all count it. Anyway, the week of the 14th, Target in my area has um, buy one, get one 30% off for pads. I need it, so I usually just get like one regular, one overnight, but if you're gonna give me 30% off, might as well. I thought I had grabbed four boxes, so another box could be 30% off, but I think on my receipt, they actually gave me 30% off on two. And then I just had, and I bought one box regular price, which I typically do anyway. In addition to that, I also bought a box of coral, coral pads too, that are um, organic, vegan, no, uh, none of the extra, no bleach, no dyes, like any of the extra stuff that may cause you to have heavier bleeding or uh, menstrual cramps. A lot of y'all use 
Tampax, Always, like all those big box brands, and um, that what kind of that what causes extra bleeding, extra cramps, extra all the stuff that you should not have. Just read the ingredients, baby. But I mean, it is what it is. Anyway, um, Ibotta has, I think, two dollars off on this one, so I just went ahead and got it so I can I can try these out and see how they are because I can't remember if I have before. This one is the overnight with wings, and it looked like the overnight pad is supposed should, should be really good. If you can see that, this is the one that I got, so it is one of the higher absorbency pads they have. So I'm gonna try these out and compare the Coral versus the Ray L. Um, and I hope that neither one of them is changing. If they're changing, change for the better, meaning like more pads that come in the box but don't change the prices just because everything else is increasing like it's bad enough that we got to pay for ministerial pad like i ain't asked this life anyway yeah you know, that's all i got y'all so okay i'm about to finish eating my lunch and then i'm going back to work quick to a great chick running back to the strip club i'm never going back never going back hey y'all to go return some stuff to target and to sheen aka fair 21 so i'm about to go get in this traffic because it's after work it is actually like five something yeah it's like five or three Oh, excuse me, y'all. If I'm sweating or like out of breath, it's because I ran downstairs and ran back up. Why did I do that? I don't know. But, because I got to do a couple of errands. Oh, y'all ain't telling me my bra was showing. Um, because I got to do a couple of errands or whatnot, I'm going to take y'all with me. Safety first. Y'all better put y'all seatbelts on when y'all driving. All right, let's go. People in the parking lot are doing the most. Like, baby, why are you trying to let the pedestrians walk? Jesus. Anyway, um, y'all seen a Target time and time and before. So it's no need to show y'all anything, but I am just returning something and I'm getting out of here. Okay, y'all, we made it to the mall. Where's the fair with 21 at? In Baybrook. Um, I believe this is considered League City. If not, I don't know, South Houston. Y'all don't have me lying. Now I think it's League City, but if it's Houston, it's definitely like South South Houston or something. Okay. Anyway, we are here, and I definitely gotta get my car clean. I don't feel right. Ooh, AMG GLE fifty three. Hmm. I need to see how much that is. And just like that, praise the Lord, we are done. Okay, so now since I'm already out here and it's still traffic time or whatever, I'm gonna try to find a car wash and a bank, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, y'all, I walked out here. Y'all seen those new um, Tesla trucks? If not, here's one in like, it ain't live for y'all, but y'all see this? This is crazy. People actually use this as like everyday vehicles. Personal opinion, this shit is ugly, but all right, go off. Y'all, this right here, ooh. The crazy thing is that I've seen a Toyota have a SUV. 
I don't know if it's kind of more so on the premium side or whatever, but it looked nice. It looks super, super nice. So I don't know, like I'm, I'm slowly, I'm slowly looking into SUVs to buy. And since unfortunately the market has not went down in, in interest rates, sorry, and turn it down. Um, unfortunately the market hasn't went down for interest rates or whatever. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm well prepared and pay that thing in cash. Lord willing. So yeah, I'm just researching. I currently right now have a Toyota. So I was thinking like, do I just stick in the family and get like one of them premium Toyota SUVs or whatnot? I mean, it is long lasting, it's durable. And I was thinking about, should I get a, a Subaru? Cause I keep hearing and seeing those commercials, how they're like, um, they're rated as like the most safety, um, the most safe car. I, I, I how you put it, but yeah, they're supposed to be like the best thing if you get in a car accident and crash or whatnot. But this this AMG right here, man, that thing's sitting pretty. I don't know if it's the paint or whatever. It's like a hunter green. But that oof. It's low-key better than one of them Audis I saw. Oh, and that take a lot for me to say. Oof. Oof. But yeah. Mm. Anyway, all right. Let's go and continue. As I pull out the mall, one of them newer Toyota SUVs that I was talking about is literally on the side of me. But unfortunately, because I'm driving and I want to be like camera in your face, like, yeah, um, I can't show y'all. So I'm going to try to find it. I'm trying to find it in like insert a clip or whatever so y'all can just see what I'm talking about. But it's a electric car. And the only reason why I know it's a, well, electric SUV. The only reason why I know it's an electric SUV because the the pump thing or whatever is literally in the front. So it's right outside of me and it looks so good. But it's still, it's not, still not better than the AMG. But this Toyota, whatever electric vehicle this is, I saw it say something limited. So when I turn, I'm going to try to read the back of it so I can see what it is and insert it in here so y'all can be on the same page on my delusional random conversations. Okay, bye. Y'all coming to get some of this beat? Y'all, okay, so I found uh, a dollar store that's actually open. I'm about to go in. Um, but I passed three car washes in the short span of time. And they're all closed so i'm assuming they got affected by the storm too and i'm so mad because well not really mad man one of the car washes is like kind of like my go-to it's five dollars and a free vacuum <sighs> of course it's closed so i'm gonna try this all over again when i am driving back home or towards my residence so Let's go in Family Dollar and see if they have some stuff. Hopefully everyone is not affected by the storm. I need a car wash. But Dollar Store first, I guess. I don't know how I passed these. All right, y'all. We definitely did not find a car wash. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. we did not find a car wash, but I actually am about to meet up with somebody. So, and my battery about to die. So, I'm about to leave y'all here. I appreciate y'all so much for rocking, riding with me. Uh, uh, uh. 
<laughs> nah, for real. Um, thank you so much for watching another video by me, Doses of Tempest. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be all in the comment section. So, hey, girl, hey. Um, and uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Okay, bye.